It, you know, it ended up being longer than we anticipated. Uh, you know, we started out, uh, you know, hoping to go pretty quickly, but our concentration level was very, very light today again. But, you know, four-hour flight almost coming back from Minnesota last night. It was a long night. Will Colby play tomorrow? He's anticipating it, yeah. How will you manage these last three games, knowing that you already have the best record in the West, but still you have to, be, you have to put a competitive team out on the floor, especially against Portland? Oh no, we, you know the, it's our job to really compete. Uh, you know we've got we want to hold, uphold our end of the bargain, and you know we're not going to give any game away to anybody. You know that's been struggling all season, so we're coming out to compete against Portland the way we should. The other game, Sacramento and the Clippers, will play those games according to how we do and how our players are doing, and hopefully have some momentum, play guys a uh, kind of minutes that we like to play to keep people in rhythm. Do you find it kind of amazing that besides you at the number one spot that it's still kind of crazy with teams scrambling for position this late in the year? You know, actually, uh, you know, some of our guys in the staff were talking about the fact that this was a year that could be 10 teams struggling for it. Well, a couple teams fell off. New Orleans, Memphis, uh, uh, who else fell out of the running here at the end that uh, was playing really well? Uh, Houston, right. So, you know, we thought it would actually be maybe, uh, you know, more than that, maybe 11 teams would be in this push. And, and uh, you know, it ended up being that, you know, it was that way. I mean, it was, you know, the, you know, two through five and, you know, then six, seven and eight now that are really in a struggle. So it's been really interesting. I think it's uh, great for the game. I think it's great for our conference, but it certainly puts a playoff uh, highly competitive for sure. What, what do you make of the, the Western balance, so especially when you compare it to the East, where it, there seems to be a clear drop-off after Cleveland and Orlando? Well, mostly it's talent. Uh, it's a difference in talent. Uh, injuries have something to do with it, and you, you've got to concede that uh, you know, their teams in the, the East, obviously, they have injuries. But, and you know, some teams came late. You know, Charlotte you know, got off to a terrible start, and Charlotte made a trade. and. You know, they got some energy by getting Jackson on their team and, and you know, made a good late push. Um, you know, Miami's made a late push because uh, of some injuries they had to their team. So some of that competitiveness, I think, uh, that the West has, and also these, you can look at some of the injuries they had. But, you know, we have Portland sitting here in our conference that, uh, you know, has had numbers of injuries and lost their big guys and still have stayed really competitive this year and are going to end up with a 50-win season. So the West has been uh, highly competitive, and I think that uh, you know we're impressed. Do you think there's a chance for any of these other rotation players to take one of these three games off, a couple of these three games off? The end of the As you, you refer to rotation? Uh, I guess any of your players, I guess. Any of the starters? Or uh, you know, I didn't anticipate that. I don't think any of them want to take it off, and I don't see any reason to force them to take it off. If, you play, if Kobe plays, do you figure he'll play a normal minutes or do you think he'll cut back a little? Or would you? Uh, you know, it depends upon how he feels. He may be very live tomorrow and feel great and uh, you know, we'll see how he plays and he obviously you will want to compete in the game so we'll see how it goes. Did he you know? do anything today? No. Nothing outside of his normal activity. Which is? You know, which is an off day activity. But you know icing, you know, whatever. So did he come to you and say I'm ready to play tomorrow? No we talked about it on the plane last night. You know, and, and he said, I have every intention of playing. I just hope that you know, it progresses as well as it's going.